Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at uh, graphing. We are given a few rules, a few equations, and we need to, from those equations, determine how to graph and just given that information. So I'm going to show this process. I'm taking this question from, this is CPM and this is course three. Uh, this is section 4.1.7 and specifically number 4-67. So read the directions and we'll go from there. So it says, use what you know about M and B to graph each equation below without making a table. Show a growth triangle on each graph and label the X and Y intercepts. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is, first of all, this whole M and B business, what is that? Well, that's coming from uh, Y, and I'll, I'll put it up here, Y equals MX plus B, right? That's the standard or that's the form linear form of an equation for graphing where your M represents your growth rate. Okay. Uh, also known as slope. Okay. And that's your growth rate. And then your B here, the B represents the uh, initial figure, the figure zero or also known as the Y intercept when you're graphing, okay? So those are our two things that we need to determine in order to then graph on our uh, X and Y grid, okay? So let's start with the first one. Y equals three minus two X. Well, this one's an interesting question because if I look, I, I know my form up here is MX plus B, but I have three minus two X. So I have it reversed. So I just need to rewrite this in order, in the order that is the X term, then the number. So be careful though, because when we rewrite this, the X term has a minus in front of it. So that means it's a negative two X plus three. So Y is equal to three X minus two is the same thing as Y is equal to negative two X plus three. So basically I took my terms and flipped them around, but before I did that, I had to, I had to kind of look at this minus as add the opposite. It's really a negative two right? And then I could flip them around because we, because addition is commutative and I have to, but I had to pay attention to my sign. So that became negative two X plus three. All right. So now we've got it in that form, right? So how do I start this? Well, I always start with my, with my zero figure or my Y intercept. So I need to find out what my Y intercept is. That's my B. So three is my B. So when I'm graphing, I start with three on the, remember this is the Y axis. This is the x-axis, so it's the y-intercept, right? It's where the line crosses the y-axis. So the three is where I start. It's a positive three, so it's right here. So I start there. That's my starting point. That's my b that I use. Now my m is my growth rate, or also known as slope, but my growth rate, if I look at my growth rate in this case, it's negative two. That means I'm going down two every time. So and I start at three and I'm going to go down two to, to positive one over one, right? Because each one I'm dropping two, right? So each, and, and I can look at it this way, each, here's my growth triangle. Each one I'm dropping two. So I do it again. I go over one and I drop two and I get a point right there. Every one I drop two. I go over one and I drop two. I go over one and I drop two. So my line should be downhill if it's if I'm right, because my growth is negative. My growth is decreasing. So I'm gonna now connect my dots and make sure you're using your whole graph, throw arrows on your line. And then I just gotta label my line. My line, my label is the equation itself. So y is equal to negative two x plus three is the name of that line. So that was the first one, okay? All right, let's might go a little quicker now as I keep going here. So now I'm looking at number two or the second line here, and I'll do this one in, in purple. Y is equal to two X. Well, I go back and I think I need to have my M and my B. Well, the number in front of the X, the coefficient of the X is my M. So I know my M is equal to two. That's my, uh, growth rate. But what is my B? Well, there is no B, 
right? If I want to rewrite this equation, I could say y is equal to 2x plus 0. And now I can see, oh, b is 0. When you don't have a number, another constant there, there's no b. b is actually 0. So what does that mean? That means when I'm graphing this one, I'm going to start my y-intercept is at 0. So it crosses here at 0, 0. Okay. Then from there, I use my growth. My growth is 2. So this one's actually going to go up to over 1. Up to over 1. So it's growing, so it's increasing up to over 1, up to over 1. So once I have enough points, use my ruler and connect the dots. Nice straight line, arrows, and label it. Y is equal to 2x. Okay. So there's the second one. All right. Third one, y is equal to 3. Now, with y is equal to 3, this one is, is, if we think about it, there is no x, right? There is no x. So really, if I'm going to rewrite this one, this is y is equal to 0x plus 3 because there is no m. m is 0. That's what made the x go away. So that means my m is 0, my b is 3. So what does that look like? So uh, again, I go up, my B is 3, same as the 3 up here. So my Y-intercept is positive 3, which is right here. But my slope is 0. So basically what I'm doing is I'm every one, I don't move. I don't go up or down. So it's all of these points in a horizontal line. So if I were to graph that, it's basically just a horizontal line. This is where Y is always equal to 3. That is y is equal to 3. Making sense so far? Okay. Last one. Last one's tricky. Last one, I'm going to put, I'm going to make that one red here so I have another color. Now with this one, y is equal to, that, that says y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 3 is what it says. Okay. The font got pushed a little bit on that one. So negative one half. So what so, so again, my B is three, but my M in this case, my M is negative one half, right? Again, I'm going off of Y equals MX plus B. My M is negative one half, my B is three. So this time I start again at three. It's like I'm starting at three a lot. But my my Growth rate is negative one half. That means I'm only going to go down a half every one. A half every one. I'm only going down just a half. I don't know if you can see that. I'm only going down a half. Let's see if I can get this closer so we can see that better. Okay. So I'm only, every time, I'm only going to go down a half way and then over one. Halfway, then over one. Halfway, oh, then over one. That's my slope. So I still am going over one, but I'm only going down a tiny bit, just a half. I'm still going over one, but down a half. So again, down a half over one. Down a half over one. Down a half over one. So that's, that's what that one looks like. And now I can connect those, right? Once I have my dots. I can connect using my ruler, get my camera back up. Uh oh, try that again. There we go. So there I have my line, put my arrows on it and label it Y is equal to negative one half X plus three. All right, so there's the four lines given those four equations. Okay, there we go.